Hello, welcome back to Digitrip Gaming. Now, I just finished recording the basic battle. I don't really want to call it a tutorial because I'm very new to the game. I'm <laughs> it was basically yeah, it was showing the basic battle strategies that I've picked up in the very short time. There will be people that know a heck of a lot more about it, and hats off to them. But anyway, I just finished doing it, and then I just realised I got everything I needed to show you how to mine, including a good example of what you're looking for when you're mining, which is now I didn't. Well, it's not no. I don't know what normal. Oh, do not jettison. Jeez, I just <laughs> I just dumped ten grand's worth of stuff. Yeah. Anyway, so. I did sort of three asteroids, got a soy paste which is worth 54, not very good. Couple of, uh, one metallic ore, I got the one from the battle which you just saw. You know, not brilliant. And then uh, I just realised that I found something called Tachyon Salt. Put it into my hole, forgot about it. I just looked at how much it's worth. His system average is 10,000. Now, early game, I don't know about later game because obviously I'm still in early game. Early game, that is a heck of a lot of money. That is what you want. So, <laughs> and that was just from like, uh, probably a couple of minutes mining. I'm not going to say, I don't know how rare that is. I would imagine the 10 grand tacky and salt is pretty rare. Uh, certainly a lot rarer than the soy, uh, a lot rarer than the soy paste. That every kid loves soy paste. Of course they do. Just like sprouts, it's like, that sounds disgusting. <laughs> well, soy paste, I suppose. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. So we got everything. I was actually heading towards, and I had to fight. Literally, this is where I left off from the last. We've got some hostiles over there. We, we'll take care of them if they come any closer. No problem. Unless <laughs> we may end up running away now. I've said that. But yeah, this is where, this is the place we were heading for. Pulse. Mineable sources. Kind of stuff. I think you can still take out these. Let me just switch to mining laser. Now that's right on the direction pad. Mining laser. You can't really see where you're aiming it properly unless you actually go into the precise aim and just fire asteroid. Now that's just ordinary asteroid. I wouldn't imagine we get anything from that because that didn't come up as a mineable resource. I suppose technically it's. Yeah, we did look. We got something that. Uh, let's get a tractor beam. Now, obviously, you need the tractor beam. It is possible to not have a tractor beam. That is something uh, I think this came with the ship, but I think on the starting ship, you don't actually start with a tractor beam. I'll just. Uh, uh, yeah, that's something where you can see that this is basically where I left off. I've still got the same damage and everything. That's something I didn't touch on, but uh, all the turrets, um, which, which, unless you're actually controlling the turrets, they will auto fire. These are the settings for them. You can tell this turret to only fire at the things that you locked on. Now I haven't found this very useful so far, but I'm, I'm absolutely sure it will come in handy later. For, uh, spirit, just firing at fighters. If if you're in a battle and you're just getting trounced by the fighters, you might want to come in here and switch. Maybe not the ion turret because that's a very slow firing one. But um, the there we go. I'll quit out like a dick. <laughs> now the scatter turret. That would be very good to uh, tell it to just fire at fighters because a very fast firing turret. So you could, uh, I mean, I'm leaving them all on any craft at the minute. Uh, any craft yet? But they're the good. Anyway, I didn't. I didn't really go into that because I, I haven't played with it too much myself. And it's <sighs> my head. Where is my head? I came in here, didn't I, to show you the. Let's go to ship. We've got components. This is what I was showing you. Obviously, a booster. I wouldn't mind it actually a better booster. It's very good for getting yourself. This is when you get surrounded, or when you're starting to get a few enemies on you. It's always good to boost away from the fight a little bit. It's 
turn into another battle tutorial, isn't it? I don't know. There, that's what I was saying. the tractor beam. That's something. Uh, it came with this ship, I think, or, or the or it got transported across from my older ship. Either way, you don't start with it, and you have to buy it. And that's you'll need this for mining or um, taking people's cargo when they've um, been in a battle with you. There's something very important. Right, so you need that for mining. Obviously, you need a mining laser. Uh, you can do it without with just normal battle lasers. I, it says the the yield's not as good. I, I would imagine the, you'll get far less actual good stuff from it. You might might just get a. Uh, now these are interesting. They look like little black. It's coming up as mine resource. Or is it? The hell is that? It's not even going up. Interesting. On onwards. <laughs> I keep getting sidetracked. Yeah, mining laser, there you go. So you want to pulse? It should show you is it coming up? That's just coming up as asteroid. I think we could give it a mine. No, we d we don't want that. We could keep it in mind while we're here. Why not? So you switch to your mind. This is a ha how you basically mine. You may switch to your mining turret. We're in range. Can't really see much with the mining turret until you go into precision aim. Very very interested to see what's in there. I'm going to do it. Probably going to release some kind of. A my mining laser did not touch that. There we go. It's very tough, whatever it is. So this is all fitting in with the mining tutorial, it's fine. There was nothing in it. Maybe I shouldn't be destroying these things when I don't know where it is. Oh, hang on, hang on. Obtainium. There we go. Now if you're close enough, you'll see at the bottom. Obtainium, hold to tractor. Hold X. Tractor beam in. We've got obtainium. Now let's see what we got. Go to cargo hold. Obtainium. Now that's not bad. As you can see, you can't quite often get this oil paste metallic ores and things, which is 65. So 686 isn't bad. What it, what's happened is we've been jaded by that tacky salt, which is worth 10 grand. <laughs> but that's that's not too bad because we're not actually we're not in. It's not dangerous what we're doing unless we get attacked. Which I'm keeping an eye on, or I should have been. They probably they're probably not uh, bother us. I wouldn't mind going over there uh, when I've finished here to see who they are. Maybe there's some uh, bounty on the reds. But this is basic mining. So this is ob obviously obtainium, which is not bad at all. So you see the mi mine laser bottom right, we've got an overheat, just something to be mindful of. I don't think it damages it, but it will take w take more to cool down. Gold ingots, get some good shit in these. I'm assuming gold still wor worth quite a bit. Let's just do a quick pulse to see, make sure we have See, we've got another mineable one. Oh, we've got one just there, look. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that when it says mineable ones, you, you've probably got much more chance of getting something good out of it, rather than just blasting normal. It's out of range, let's just get in there. Get a little bit closer in there. Let's not hit them, though. Let's put the... Retros, yeah, you got retro boosts as well. If you're going too fast and you're coming into a space station, <laughs> you just press press back on the left stick. There we go. We've got retro. I might just destroy that because that seems to be getting a bit close. It's not one. Yeah, so there'll be better uh, lasers. I think there's something else as well that's uh, it's, it's called a 
I forget what it's called, but it actually shows you the weak point of the asteroid and lets you blast that weak point, and then you get better. I don't know if you get better things, more things. I would imagine you probably get a better chance of. Yeah, there we go. I've over here at lasers, what I was just talking about. There we go. Now, this one came up as a mineable resource. Which it isn't guaranteed. I don't think it's guaranteed to get you something. So, mine is probably not for everybody. I mean, it's not action packed, but. If you can drop on a few meteor, uh, meteors with um, some of that crystal in, <laughs> ten grand a piece, I mean it's, it's very lucrative. But it's it's something else. I, I like things that gives you gives you options, and it's mine is. Pr uh, I, I don't mind doing a bit of mine now and again, but I'll probably not bring too much of it and, unless I really need the money. But if you, I think I found out about this area from. Somebody talking either in in the a bar on a space station. If if you if you go into and talk to people, like do you know anything? You'll get little tips like this. And someone told me said yeah, there's some there's there's a mining rush. People gone to such and such. Now it turned out they're enemy, and yeah, you might find that all the time or a lot of the time. Just keep an eye on those detected hostiles. <laughs> they don't seem to be coming in. I will go and take them out in a minute, probably. But that's mining. Like I say, you get you get tips from bars. There's probably a lot more to it. it, it it's, uh, this is all just basic stuff from basically my initial play of it. I mean, uh, if we go to... Hang on, that's the wrong button. That's triangle. Let's go to map. This is the first star system. And I've not been out of this place yet. And then you go to sector map. And there's more star systems, so it's a fit. It's a pretty. I'm, I'm glad it's a very. Looks like a pretty good size map. But you can see that's that's how little I've played it so far. That it's the space. That's the first star system, and I haven't even been to all of these. <laughs> there we go. Commodity in stock. No data. Never visited. Never been to Seconda Station. But if you've got um. Let's zoom straight back in from that. I think, does that tell you? When you get to a space station, it will kind of, and you go and you go to sell stuff, it will quite often tell you the prices of what you're looking at in the last stations you visited. Like it will say something like tacky and salt, uh, such as a space station 45 days ago. You might it, they might be paying nine grand for it, or they might be paying twelve grand for it. Obviously, time's gone by. Forty-five days is a long time. They might be pay, they might be only be paying two grand now. But that's some, just something else. Like I said, I'll, I'll probably do another video because the uh, trading is actually for me a lot bigger than mining anyway. Maybe different for you. You might like mining. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. But uh, I think trading, uh, at least initially, while you're trying to get your ship built up a bit, and I've in no way done that yet, is going to be a main money-making scheme. Even if you're actually taking, being a pirate and you're taking out other ships, you're still, you're doing that basically to get the cargo and then sell it. So it's going, it's all going to tie into trading. So that's going to be another video. This, this is just the really, really basics of mining. There's that hole in my hole that <laughs> it says it's only one percent damage but that looks like that looks quite uh, particularly as it goes straight into the bridge that looks like we might be sucked into space there. <laughs> but yeah I, I mean it's the only thing i I'm, i might quibble about this game is that you, you you're in charge of a big ship that maybe it should um have some kind of simulation of crew on board like morale i don't know you, you could maybe set better crew pe crewmen on on your guns or Engineer like S Scotty from Star Trek, you could maybe start off with some dickhead with a wrench that doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> it's just uh, just things that could have uh, they could have added to it. Not complaining or anything, or I'm complaining a little bit. But I think I think uh, some kind of crew simulation on a ship this uh, this on ships this size would have uh, would have been good and added to it quite well. But that's uh, that's another thing. I digest. <laughs> 
so that's mine and that's very basics of it hope you found it useful anything to add you th there'll be plenty of people out there that know more than me about this game and know more than me about trading but anything to add feel free to comment uh, even comment section YouTube we've well, we got I'll be putting Facebook links up Twitter I'll try to answer everybody that says anything any any good uh, hints I will I will probably <laughs> give you well, I don't know no, I'm not going to give you anything for it but certainly give you a salute for the hints but yeah thanks for that hope you enjoyed it you hope you found it a little bit useful that's that's your basic mining, mining with what is a, a basic laser and without the um, extra bit of kit that lets you actually get more stuff from asteroids so hopefully that was useful I'll, I'll be doing another one at some point depending on interest uh, on the trading which uh, which is actually probably more of a bigger part of the game at least for me and tends to you know it's you're going to need the trading even if even if you do the mining anyway because you, you want the best prices if you spent spent an hour in an asteroid field so yeah thanks for watching i'll catch you later hopefully you enjoyed this Take care. Bye-bye.